Hello guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapin' 2. Today I wanted to talk about Prismacolor Premier Color uh, color Pencils. Uh, you guys must be wondering, uh, Joyce, why are you talking about a pencil that we all know and love? And that's uh, one of the reasons why I am um, talking about it is because I found another amazing deal on Amazon. Uh, when I saw it, I thought it was a mistake, so I had to keep uh, checking it over and over. And uh, because I buy so much stuff from Amazon, uh, I kind of noticed the uh, fluctuation in prices. And so what I do is I put all of the things that I want to buy or I'm interested in into my cart and uh, leave it for save for later uh, category. And then what happens is when the prices go down, they kind of send you a little message. And I've been tracking uh, prices for the Schmink, uh, Schmincke watercolors. If those of you guys are um, aware of the Schmincke, water, uh, Schmincke watercolor uh, cakes or, or paints, uh, they're very uh, expensive, good quality, artist quality paints. And so I've been wanting to get that, but it costs a lot. So I, anyways, I was checking that and then I finally found a really great price for Schmincke watercolors if you're interested uh, Amazon has it listed right now for about $56 which is unreal because it usually costs hundreds of dollars well anyways after I purchased that uh, this thing popped up for Prismacolor pencils and I already have Prismacolor pencils so I wasn't really interested in it but then it said a 72 set for $30 eight dollars it was around 38 dollars so i was like wait a minute that can't be right so that's when i started to look into it and then i found the full set which is 150 set i always wanted to get 150 set but i didn't want to pay like over hundred and thirty dollars because that was the lowest price that i could find and um I decided that it wasn't for me and you as for my money uh, it wasn't worth hundred and thirty dollars because of the fact that you know the lead breaks and things like that I absolutely love Prismacolor pencils I use it all the time um, so when I saw that they had the hundred and fifty set for I believe about $78 uh, that was kind of crazy price so I went ahead and bought it I don't have it to show it to you because I ordered it uh, several days ago so after I had placed that order um, one of my friend Aaron um, who's a subscriber uh, had sent me a message and said oh my god did you see the prices on the Prismacolor pencils it's like un unbelievable and yeah uh, I <laughs> did I guess her and I are both uh, Amazon stalkers <laughs> because we found um, this price so when you look on it it will list it as a um, 32 set and so now, since I'm talking about Prismacolor pencils, I thought I might as well uh, go over some of the features just in case you guys are unfamiliar uh, with us, those of you guys that are unfamiliar with these pencils. So what you can see is, here's my phone. So the Prismacolor pencils uh, premiere, the soft core 72 count for uh, 3840 and then if you click on it there's like a drop down arrow for the uh, sets and then you can choose like different all the different sets that they have available and then you can find hopefully you can find that price for about like eighty dollars or so or less um, I was very hesitant to also do this video because I felt really bad after I posted uh, my ink tense um, pencil review and the price uh, a couple days after the price went up to like $87 so I felt really bad so um, that's why I was a little hesitant to post this video because if somebody's watching this video like several months from now the prices uh, may not be that low so uh, that's something to consider so today is I believe um, 
let's see. October 18th, 2016. So I'm not sure how long they're going to have it for that prize. And um, Aaron had left a great comment on my Inktense uh, pencil review and the, uh, the amazing deals. Uh, she left a comment um, kind of explaining maybe why there's so much high fluctuation in prices on Amazon. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check out her comment. Her name is Erin. So um, I have this Prismacolor Premiere set. This is a, a 75th year anniversary set um, that I purchased um, about two years ago. And... Um, I purchased this from Jerry's Artorama where they had a special if you buy one then you get the other one free and so the price was about 90 and I paid uh, like $25 for shipping so you figure I paid about $130 for two sets this is a set of the 50 uh, they made it into a 75th year anniversary edition which which isn't anything special it just has uh, 50 of their most uh, popular colors so this is uh, I didn't want to take out my other um, color pencils so I just took out this one this is what I just carry around everywhere and use so now, since I'm talking about Prismacolor uh, Premier Pencils, I might as well um, give you a little information regarding it just in case you're new to Prismacolor Pencils. So these are wax-based pencils. Okay, these are wax-based pencils. They have a very soft core so you want to be careful when you're sharpening it because um, because of the soft uh, core sometimes it uh, breaks so you want to be very gentle when you're um, uh, sharpening it but they go on super creamy and it's highly pigmented and this is an artist's quality pencil uh, this is probably the best-selling artist quality pencils out there it's very popular and famous and people love it um, so in 1995 this Prismacolor um, pencils uh, the Newell new Rubbermaid company took over and they make like Sharpies and paper made products and things like that and people say the quality control has gone down and that's because um, many people mention that uh, the pencils break easily and there's dimples on the wood and sometimes the barrel just cracks right down the center along this way so that is a downside of these pencils but other than that these are fantastic pencils I use them all the time I believe these are made in Mexico but I could be wrong so I have some of these uh, pencils that I'm going to show you so you can see the lay down of the colors if you're not familiar. If you already know about these pencils and you um, you know, know all of these things then you don't have to obviously watch through this video. You can just go on to your web, uh, Amazon account and purchase it if it's something that you were uh, considering because it's a really great deal. Um, I do have the links in the description below and I am uh, I do have an affiliate account so if you purchase something from the links I provide I do get a small percentage of the sales but that is absolutely not the reason why I'm sharing this uh, uh, price because I mean sharing is caring I mean I want you guys to save money just as much as I you know save money so you know win-win right so this right here is um, canary and I just wish that you could feel how smooth this thing lays down it's unbelievably smooth I lost a couple pencils in the set I don't know how my maybe my daughter took off with it but it goes on like butter and that is the reason why these pencils are so uh, popular 
they lay down smoothly you can layer on tons and tons of colors and um, you can get a really great blend so the name is actually written on the pencil here I don't know it's not gonna fuck there you go it's uh, the name is written on um, the pencil as well as the numbers these are sold individually as well so if you want to try a couple out before investing you can go ahead and do that I don't have that option here in a way they don't sell this at all I mean especially individually and you can see the core it's pretty thick okay I love color pencils uh, I mean for card makers paper crafters like ourselves I mean you don't really need to have the artist quality pencils at all um, you can use any pencils even uh, your Crayola pencils your kids Crayola pencils I use them all the time on like um, coloring books and things like that so you definitely don't need to have um, the artist quality pencils but if you were looking to um, upgrade, this would be perfect time because of the price. But like I said, I don't know how long the prices are going to remain that way. So please don't get mad at me when the, if the prices do go up. I really hesitated uh, to do this video because of that reason. Because I purchased my uh, set about three days ago or so. Um, the full 50 150 line of pencils I mean for color pencils they don't go bad over time so you can you know have it for years unlike markers you know where they may run out of um, ink and uh, dry out you don't have that um, problem with the pencils it's an investment in the beginning but it will last you a very long time like I do a lot of coloring in my adult coloring book I have over like 20 bucks so I do go through a lot of pencils so uh, it's great if when we can buy them at a reasonable cost so there you go there is the colors so there's several ways obviously you can blend it bring you in just slightly not too much okay so one of the ways you can use it is is Prismacolor colorless blender pencil this is uh, one of my favorites I have like tons of these because I use these to blend out my pencils and you can tell how easily they blend and that's because they are super soft and highly pigmented okay this also came with the um, this particular set came with two of these I don't know where both of them went because this I purchased uh, separately through Amazon so I lose things all the time and I think that's because my daughter takes off with it too so you can use this is an alcohol uh, blending solution but you can use it with your colorless uh, color pencils because this was included in this set and what it does is break down the uh, pigment and you can get that blend almost like a marker and then you just uh, scribble it off just to get the thing off because it's clear like that just like I showed you um, how to use um, the colorless blender for the intense pencils that's a water soluble blender I mean that's a water based um, blender this however is alcohol based blender and it will stain your tip but it's okay okay another way that people like to do the blending with Prismacolor pencils is to use a solvent such as Gamsol. Uh, now I put it into a little jar like this, put a sponge, and then I filled it. And then you can use a paper stump, and people like to use it to do the blending. It blends really easily. Okay, and again, you can just wipe it off, or you can sand it off, or whatever uh, you need to do with the um, that. 
All right, so this case is pretty big. I don't know how the 150 set comes in. I think um, according to the pictures, it looks like it comes in almost like a similar box like that. Um, but I will share it when it comes. Okay, let's go ahead and do some. If I can, mm, I stamp this butterfly too low. So let me go ahead and uh, stamp another one or I'll just zoom out. There you go. There's a butterfly. So let's do some blending. I always use these three colors to show the blending and that's because most of the time uh, when you're doing like different uh, color uh, like lay down most colors have red yellow and orange and they're pretty similar uh, the other colors I feel that depending on the brand it's a little bit different so I use uh, the red yellow and orange I normally start with my lightest I don't know why I went in with my darkest and I'm doing a really light touch because these pencils go on really really smooth and this is a little bit of a textured surface this is again my uh, Canson XL me uh, mixed media pad so again it's going to uh, grab it a lot easier I'm not gonna like go full on like blending that's because this is like I said probably uh, the number one selling pencils uh, most people do know about these pencils whether you're a paper crafter or a card maker I'm sure you're aware of these pencils because that's how popular they are most card makers use these to color in their images hopefully this video isn't too long gotta start making Christmas cards oh my god I didn't make any Halloween cards this year at all I have just been out of it since I've been back from my vacation. Okay. There's still a uh, white paper showing so you can add like continuously. But you can see, I didn't blend it too well, but you can see the vibrancy. All right. I will show you some of the things I did color. I was gonna make the Halloween card with it. I colored some. This is Lawn Fawn's images with it. Cut it out. I never made anything with it. Another great thing that you can use for these color pencils are on craft. People love that because they go on really smoothly on these colored card stocks. Especially the craft, it really stands out. Maybe because these colors are slightly more on the opaque side maybe. So it shows up so well I don't know it's just pigmentation is like quite strong probably that's why you notice I always uh, color the butterfly when I'm doing reviews that's because it's so much more easier and I don't want you guys to be sitting here for an hour just to see how um, to color for like a review of some sort I'm 
You see how well it shows up on the um, craft card stock? Okay, and this this particular set also had a gold and a silver, so I put that there. So there you go. So if you're considering this uh, set, I will uh, leave the links in the description below or go ahead and go directly to your Amazon and then look for it, which I had showed you before on my phone and then um, go ahead and pick it up because I don't know how long the price is going to last. Okay, I thank you guys so much for stopping by and spending some time with me today. And then um, we'll start to make some Christmas cards soon. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.